What's good? What's good, loves? What's good? What's good? <sighs> Your coach has been busy tonight. Let me tell you that. <laughs> Your coach has been busy tonight. My goodness. Hey, listen. Um, so I just wanted to um, tell you this is how your coach looks after a full day of coaching and looking out for clients. Um, and I was just sitting here thinking about them. You know, I have clients from all walks of life. Powerful people, man. Just individuals that's really... <laughs> They're just trying to find their way, man, and um, and it's it's really um, surprising to me how many people that I find are just frustrated because they're not really sure um, how to get back to self. Um, this topic. <laughs> has come up a lot today um just let me put you up on game i have been going hard in the paint on some serious self-love deficiencies that i see more times than i wish i did um the um unbelievable part about it is when you sacrifice yourself for love, for your kids, for your um, comforts or whatever it is you're looking to achieve and accomplish, um, for your education, for a lot of different reasons. You know, people people put themselves on the back burner a lot. <laughs> and just in this practice alone, um, so many people, man they're struggling with just getting back to loving themselves and what's surprising to me is how many people not only are struggling with loving self but then they they believe that um or they hear it from other vessels besides me for some reason um you know i've had clients want to cry as soon as I get on with them I've had clients want to just start telling me their life story I've had clients just tell me like I don't know where to go from here all kinds of scenarios but outside of that I find that some of them are struggling just with the um desire to say I don't want to any longer be subjected to this pain and what I've come to understand, and just off the rip, when I'm talking to clients, I'm like, bruh, what? Um, where are you in all of your life, honey? You're putting all of your energy on your kids, on your love, on your this, on your that. But you're sacrificing you in the process. And in sacrifice, in being the sacrifice for other people, um... And then say, for instance, God forbid, they pass on or they leave or they move on with something else. Our whole life is devastated because we don't know what to do. I'm like, this is why I tell clients all the time. I get that life is busy. I get that there's so many things that you're obligated to. Be it work, be it whatever man woman whatever the hell it is when you don't prioritize your loving for you you start to make decisions off of love of others and then when you do that you deplete yourself and then when those people disappoint you hurt you decide to move on from you you're really devastated. And then outside of the devastation, you're trying to get back in balance what it is you need. Let's see. Um, so just know. I mean, 
real talk, like at this point, we need to be really focused on what did I do for me today? And I'm not talking about pampering self. That is not what I mean. What did you do for you today? Did you meditate? Did you clear your energy? Did you make sure that you have what you need psychologically? How's your mental health? What did you say to yourself today? Were you mean and vicious to you and your silent thoughts? I mean, everything around this lifetime is strong, yes. But if that mental health is out of balance or if that mental health isn't good because we're focusing on everything else outside of self, you know what I'm saying? Your kids are taking more precedence over you. How do you think you are as a parent when they do something that you don't like? They disappoint you. They move on from you. You, you don't know what to do with yourself because now you lost yourself. I say it all the time, man. You have got to start putting yourself first. You have got to start finding out what am I here to do? We got a debt to pay on this planet. It's what it is, man. We got to start getting serious about self. And until we take serious, take it seriously, we're going to continue to feel depleted, continue to feel depressed. What do you think depression is? Depression is depressed of self-love, self-confidence, self-healing, self-awareness. Am I aware of my surroundings? A lot of people are waking up in the morning and just don't even pay attention to what they need. More concerned about who's got what and this and that. Do my kids have their lunch money? Why is that your first focus? Do you have your focus on you yet? Well, before you get up out of bed. Do you have that in place? No. A lot of times you don't. And then you're wondering why your kids are telling you, you don't love you. So how am I supposed to love me? You lead by example, people. Come on. I'm not. I'm, listen. One of the things that I'm learning just in the mere fact of coaching people. Like I said, I've been coaching all day. All day. In my coaching practice, I keep telling people, where are you in, the, in your thinking? Up here. Where do you fit in? Because I don't see how you can be focused on you when you're focused on your kids, you're focused on your coworkers, you're focused on your job, you're focused on your man. You're fo Where do you fit? One of the things that I make my clients do, I make them commit to, to self. Not to me, to yourself. Do you commit to putting yourself first? If you can't commit to that, I can't help you. It's <laughs> just that simple. Do you commit to you? Do you commit to knowing what you need? Do you commit? Because we have no problem going down an aisle to commit to a whole other person. Till death do us part, honey. Till death do us part, right? But the only damn person to, to, to till death is you. <laughs> you know that for a fact. Understand that. That's a guarantee. You can't guarantee if you stand before people and before a, 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 a pastor or a judge that they're going to stay with you for life. There's no guarantee to that. But there is a guarantee you're going to be with you till life. <laughs> Your entire life until death. That's for a fact. So why do we put ourselves back here on the back burner? But we'll run down the aisle, honey. Let a man put it, get on bended knee and ask you to marry him. Come on now. I see. I'm just saying. You'll run down the aisle for that. But when I make y'all sit down and commit to yourself for self-love and self-commitment to put yourself first, you guys want to, well, I don't know if I can do that. What? Excuse me? What kind of parent are you if you can't put yourself first? What kind of lover are you? Since y'all always coach, I want a relationship. Since you want a relationship so bad, what kind of lover are you if you're not loving you? 
and expecting that woman or man to fulfill your needs <laughs> when that's really not their job then what <laughs> listen i cannot make this up we will run hard down an aisle to commit to somebody else that has nothing zero investment in our own self-growth run down the aisle do you hear me flash that ring honey you better not tell nobody i ain't got no 10 carat i got a five carat but where i got this carrot? don't mean nothing if you ain't got no love for you <laughs> i'm just saying like i said you have you to death and you can guarantee that you have yourself until you die trust and believe that but you do not have for sure for a guarantee that somebody's gonna stick with you till you till you are going out of here off the planet there's no guarantee you gotta love you man one of the most powerful things that i've learned through this coaching practice is that the ones that decide and i'm telling you now because i'm not making it up the ones that decide i will commit to doing the work and i will commit to doing what i need to do to make sure i am doing everything that's necessary to commit to me guess what hands down no question their life changes for the better not because of me because of their commitment to themselves i tell people all the time i had my epiphany of taking care of me at about 33 34. my daughter my daughter was like oh look at you mom i see you loving all on you and stuff yeah i sure am <laughs> i sure am baby girl and you better practice loving on you honey listen <laughs> don't get it confused i'm leading by example i have to i got two babies looking up to me i can't afford to not love myself you can't either we got babies out here in the balance if they don't see you loving you guess what happens they don't know how to love self either then their babies don't know how to love themselves and then their babies and then your grands and great grands don't know how to love themselves and oh jesus right what do we what do we have then you see what i'm saying what do we have like ren said what do we have if we're not loving ourselves and making sure we are doing what's necessary on this planet in this lifetime to make sure that we are loving self real talk this is why you cannot skip it i don't care what kind of love affair you want if you want to have him take you out and do this and do that that's all well and fine but it don't mean nothing if you don't love you see you guys know i constantly have conversations about intimacy and sexual stuff all the time that's a great thing but it don't do you no good if you're not loving yourself even in yes even in intimacy sexual intimacy you have to turn your partner to themselves not to you that's where we fail all the time we want our mate to fill us up and we want us to be fulfilled because of you no you gotta fill you up for you and they fill themselves up for them this is what love is honey Especially when you got that good love. You feel what I'm saying? But again, this is why it's so important and so imperative that I teach you guys. You cannot skip this step. You cannot skip this step. You cannot skip this step. You must love yourself. Take that to the bank. You cannot skip the step. Trust me. We have to be mindful. It is vital. It is vital, not just for you, for your people that are in your family. Why do you think families, family dynamics are all over the place? <laughs> Why do you think that is? If I'm not loving myself, what do you think my daughter sees? She's a grown woman now. She's over 21, so she's grown now. Got her own love affair and her baby and all this. She sees me not loving myself. What is she going to do? She's going to mimic that, right? Because I'm, I'm the first woman in her life to show her what loving self looks like. I have to lead by example. I have to show my daughter, look, I love me. But outside of loving me, let me show you how I love myself. I go and do what I need to do. I'm in my purpose. My purpose is to empower people. 
My purpose is to coach people and souls that are out here lost. Do you know how many times I sit before a person telling me they lost themselves? That just makes, it does something to me. When I hear somebody say I lost myself. It does something to me. You know what it does to me? It makes me very sad. Because when you lose yourself, that's all you got. And then in that, in, okay, so when we're depleted with lack of self-love, we're trying to pour into other people something we don't have. We don't have enough here. So how am I supposed to fill up a man? Make sure he's good. Make sure he's taken care of. How am I supposed to fill him up if I'm depleted in my own self-love? Hmm? How am I supposed to fill my babies up? If I'm depleted in my own self-love, I'm not filling me up. How am I supposed to fill my babies up? Okay. How am I supposed to fill my grandbabies up? If, I, if I'm depleted in here. But see, we think loving self means going to the spa, <laughs> getting a massage, getting this, getting that, going out, get our nails done, doing this, doing that. And guys like to get groomed up, looking sharp, getting a new hat, new shoes and all that. That has nothing to do with self-love. Nothing. Zero. <laughs> Zero to do with self-love. Self-love is finding and seeking inside yourself your purpose. What are you here to do? We inhale and exhale every day, but what are we supposed to be doing? We have a debt to pay while we're here. Did you hear that? We have a debt to pay because we got this life. Do you know why you are here is the question you should be asking yourself while you're in such a seek and a pursuit to be with a relation in a relationship. You need to be focusing on the relationship with yourself. And not to mention, you need to also have some type of spirituality. These two things you cannot skip. I don't care what they tell you. Go ahead and go down the aisle. Go ahead. Go ahead. And not loving self. Go ahead. Go on down that aisle. See what happens. I'm not making it up. I'm coaching people. I know what's going on out here. <laughs> so go on and hippity hop yourself on down the aisle and see what happens. <laughs> and not loving yourself. Not knowing what your debt is to pay. Not knowing your purpose. Just out here having love. That's not love, honey. You're trying to fill in what you're not giving you. And in that, you are depleting yourself. You're demanding of someone else to fill you up. And that creates toxicity. That creates abs absolute chaos in your life. Because they don't know what to do for you. You're constantly demanding, I want you to do that, I want you to do that. You didn't do this, you didn't do this for me. Keeping records of wrongs and all kinds of stuff. We do it all wrong because we don't start with here first. And so we are now in a relationship. In a love relationship we have to have, right? We're in that love relationship and we want to make sure that that lover, that mate, that man, that girl, that woman, that, that baby, that grandbaby is giving us what we need. But that's not their purpose in our life, man. Got a lot of people out here waking up depleted, depressed. Like, how are you not waking up jumping out of bed every morning? How? How is this happening? How are you not excited about life every day? You're miserable? Okay. Whenever somebody tells me they're constantly depressed, they're constantly sad, they're constantly unfulfilled. They're always angry. They're always criticizing. They're always this. They're always that. And just exhausted because they're not getting their way. That tells me off the rip. You know what? You're miserable because you are unfulfilled. We can't get better until we love self. You cannot skip it. Yes, I'm telling you, you cannot skip loving yourself. I don't care how many grandbabies you got. I don't care how many men you have. I don't care how many women you're in love with. It doesn't matter. <laughs> you got to first start with you, honey. And let me tell you something else. In my coaching practice, when I'm telling someone that it's, it's, it's not even an option, you have to love yourself. People look at me like, oh, 
I've heard this before. You're not the only one that told me this. Or you're right. I know. I know. I know. I don't put myself first. Wait. Listen. When you don't put yourself first, you know what happens? You lose yourself. You lose yourself. And I tell people all the time, do you understand and understand that every heartbeat you have is a gift? You're going to waste your beautiful heartbeats <laughs> and not focus on loving yourself? Really? Come on, man. You can't be you can't be for real. You have to love you. You have to make sure that in your mind, and if you aren't sure what acts of self-love are, inbox me. I have a whole under, listen, I got seven acts alone you can do, and I will gift them to you. Gift them to you. And then I will be glad, without a question, to do an initial consultation. It is my gift to you just to get you on track of loving yourself. Not about, it's not about the money for me. It's about your healing. It's about your understanding of self love. We are in a, we, do you realize that people in my age group, around 40 and up, people in my age group are in complete pursuit of a love interest, of a love relationship. And I'm like, well, what's your self love looking like? And they're like, well, uh, I love me. Do you? Okay. Really? You, you really love you? You sure about that? Then I start asking the real hard questions. Well, when it comes down to obligation and self, are you putting yourself first? Or does everybody else come before you? Then we start hemming and hawing and, and getting upset. Listen, I've had people hang up on me like, look, I can't do this. I can't do, I can't, I can't do this work. Well, you, in order to get better and to restore your love for you, you have to go through the shit. Do you understand that? When I take my clients through the shit, and I'm talking about shit, we are, I am literally taking them through puddles of shit in their bare feet. And they're like, oh my God, this is awful. Yes, it is. I never told you it's going to be easy. I told you it would be worth it. Never out of my mouth have I told you getting coaching with me is easy. I never said that, but I did tell you it'd be worth it. I did tell you that once you start to restore your level, your love of self, man, ain't nothing like it. You think love affairs and making love is all good and stuff. Y'all ain't seen shit till you love you. Then you're like, well, damn, <laughs> this is this is a whole nother level of love. I didn't know. Listen. I tell you, if you don't know the self-care acts, and I told you, I have I have seven of them. If you don't know them, you need to inbox me tonight. I am very gracious and have no issue with sending you on your way to learning about certain things you should be doing towards loving you. Because nobody told us that. They showed us how to love a man. They showed us how to love our babies, but didn't show us how to love self. Did they? Because they're not interested. They weren't interested in teaching us this part. Because when we love, when we love someone else, um, it's funny. When we love someone else, it gets to the point where we are focused more on them than than who we are. And so, it's definitely a a challenge to finally sit down and say, okay. I'm going to prioritize me for a change. And in that, um, in, that decide, in that desire to truly um, love myself, I will focus on me for a change. Not e it's not easy at first. You see what I'm saying? So I want you to know, all of you, share this video. I want all of you to focus on you. I want you all to start being in pursuit of self. Why am I here? Ask yourself that made that, that small question. Why am I here? What's my reason to be on the planet? Start digging into yourself. Like, what do I want to do with my life? 
it's okay to have a love affair with a man or a woman. That's a beautiful thing. Listen, I'm not knocking it. I think it's a beautiful thing. But first of all, before you go down an aisle and all that, just know you need to focus on you. Then, after that, you need to be empowered. Because loving self also gets you jump-started into purpose. It jump-starts you into getting more radiant, more beautiful, more excited about life. That's what happens. Trust me. I can't make this up. Like I said, I'm tired now. I have been going hard in the paint on coaching today, honey. I wasn't playing around. But outside of that, I, it's a beautiful thing to see people start to restore their understanding. Oh, my love for myself has not been in balance. My love for myself has not been in a good standing. It's pretty much been non-existent because I've been making sure everybody else is good while I sacrifice myself. So, listen. I want you guys to share this. I want you guys to think about people that you know that just are always miserable, always sad, always this, always that. And send them my way. Send them to me. <laughs> I will be glad to give them self-care acts and tell them, listen, you want to know about depression. I've seen some people go through some crazy, crazy storms. I'm talking about the unthinkable stuff. And they wake up joyful every day. Not because of the fact that they're better or they know how to do it better but they begin to understand that once something happens it's no reason to hold on to it so we need to let it go <laughs> so we can move forward we need to let go of burdening things in our life like unforgiveness that takes a toll on the heart mind and soul every time we hold on to that stuff real shit we hold on to unforgiveness and we're mad about this and we're upset about that and they didn't do this they didn't do that Hold on to that stuff, okay? Hold on to it. It will put your body in a full-blown dis-ease and you will be suffering with a disease because of it. Trust me. I can't make it up. I'm just telling you what I know. So, again, I love all of you. <laughs> I do. I look out for all my people. Love you all to death. But we got to do better with our self-loving, especially if we're 40 and up. If we're not loving self, our babies and our grandbabies are watching us. We're leading by example. More than you can ever imagine. You're leading by example what you're showing your babies and grandbabies. What is the norm? It's never too late to restore your love of self. It's never too late to reinvent yourself. You can do it. Come on now. I reinvent all the time. Like, shh. Just because I made mistakes, just because I made choices that weren't all that great, of, <laughs> wasn't all that great, doesn't mean I can't restore it, honey. That's what real life is about. When we go through our challenges and we go through our ups and downs and peaks and valleys, it's all a part of the, it's all a part of life. But once you sit back and say, you know what, I can restore this. I can do it different now. I got some wisdom. I got some things I did that maybe wasn't so good, but I learned a lesson in it. And in that lesson of understanding, I, I think I have been now able to be a, more at peace, be more excited, be more happy. So make sure you guys share this video. Again, like I said, your coach is tired tonight because she's done the most <laughs> restoring people and getting people to understand the power of uh love and self you cannot skip that step i know y'all want love and you want love making going on and all that that's wonderful but it don't mean a hill of beans if you're not loving you so make sure to share this video and if you don't know i have a whole page called carla nicole coaching services listen it's my page you can go over there carla nicole wisdom coaching services you can go over there follow my page sign up for stuff there's services on there there's ways to get a hold to me i got a wisdom subscription if you need to get a, a wisdom subscription listen you can do this you can reinvent that's the power of life you don't have to stay stagnant and and miserable and not happy 
you can reinvent and you can change a lot of stuff. You can even re you can even change and reinvent a generational curse if you so decide that you can you really want to happen. You really want it to happen. You can. It's just a means of coming down and saying, "Hey, I definitely want to restore. I want to restore my family. I want to restore myself first. That's like me taking an empty cup and trying to pour it to other kids. A little drop of something, this much in a cup, and then trying to pour to other people. And then the water, and then the cup is empty, which is us because we're, we have no self love to give, got any more love to give. And people are starting to get frustrated and mad. Well, that's because you don't have it to give them. You got to replenish yourself first. Okay? I'm just saying. So I'm out of here, guys. Make sure you share this video. I appreciate you, Rand. I know you always look out. I'm going to respond to these, these comments here shortly. I appreciate all the love, guys. Really, I'm just exhausted. I'm tired now. <laughs> good night, guys. I appreciate you so much. Have a good evening. It's Carla Nicole. I'm signing off. Best cap. <laughs>